right guys, what's up? It's 10.36 right now and I work at one o'clock today. So I moved out of my apartment and I moved back into my parents' house until I figure out what I'm gonna do. I did take a few clips of me moving, so I'm gonna insert those here. to my parents house so I'm gonna stay with them probably over the summer and then try to decide what to do with my whole living situation I don't know if I want to move to another state I don't know what I really want to do so thankfully they are allowing me to stay here I am so tired but I'm gonna transition my room a little bit I did forget the little leg pieces for the middle like the support pieces for the middle of my bed so I won't be able to put my bed together tonight but um, at least I can take this one down and like clean underneath it and stuff and then I have to transition my desk Okay, there's so much crap on this desk right now, but this one's okay But the bottom part of it is definitely breaking and the things are coming apart and then like this corner of the desk is starting to chip away So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but we're just gonna move this one out of here for now So I'm going to move everything out of this dresser this dresser is broken, which sucks, and I just put all my swimsuits in here, so I'll have to figure out a new place for these. I'm going to put something on the TV and get to organizing. You guys don't want to listen to the breakdown that I'm about to have you can skip to this time here so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update so like I said I work 1 to 9 tonight and before I go I just wanted to get all of this out and be able to talk about it quick so I had to write a few notes down because I know I'm gonna forget everything that I wanted to say. So I'm just gonna read what I wrote. To start, I can't lie to you guys and pretend to put on a smile and fake being happy because right now I'm really not happy. I feel like I have to give a disclaimer and preface this whole conversation just to say that I'm very thankful and grateful for what I have in life and I'm grateful to be safe and healthy in a time like this and to be able to have a job and have my family be healthy and friends be healthy and stuff and I always try my best to be positive and not share stuff like this on my channel but I'm really not okay lately so I've been really overwhelmed with work lately obviously if you guys have been watching my channel you would know I work at a hospital so I'm sure you can assume that stress has been a little bit elevated for literally every department or any worker so I've been a little overwhelmed because of work and then school because obviously I'm finishing off my last semester. It hurts, but at the point right now that I'm in, I feel like I haven't been myself lately in every aspect of my life. So I typically don't share stuff like this on my channel, but I know that all of us go through things and hard times and I just wanted to briefly share what I'm going through. I don't want to go into any details or anything but I just wanted to share with you that if you notice a change in me at all within the next few videos that those are the reasons why. So that's really all I had to say right now. 
everything's going to be fine but i just wanted to let you know that's what i'm going through right now and uh yep i'll show you guys my updated room and the changes that i have in here and then i'm probably not going to vlog until after work like i said i do work one to nine and then i'm off until saturday next saturday okay all right i'm done talking about this i don't want to talk about it anymore so i'll show you guys my room really quick and then i'm gonna go maybe eat something and then i'm probably gonna lay in bed for a little bit it's still kind of a mess in here i haven't like finished putting everything where it needs to be but i'll kind of show you guys just a little update of my room if you guys have seen my apartment tour it kind of looks identical there's my bedroom door i updated my desk because my other one was broken my brother put it in his room here i also got a new podcast mic in the mail yesterday but that's my desk area here's my closet nothing's really changed not changed it's a mess over there but whatever i updated my little tv area and put everything that was in my apartment over here because my other tv stand was broken that's about it over here nothing's really new except for this little oil diffuser my mirror is the same this is the same these all need to be sold i'm going to sell them at clothes mentor eventually when everything opens back up and then this rug is for if i ever freaking move out i guess since i'm living with my parents now but all of my uh leggings jeans and shorts are over here and here's my bed and here's the side that i use i like to put my purses in here and like my frequently grabbed items as i walk out the door so those are all the updates i'm sorry for being sad but obviously i think everyone has been going through some issues lately so all right i'm gonna lay down for a little bit go eat something eventually and then go to work so i'll talk to you guys after work Hi everyone, so it is the next day, it's Friday today. After I got home from work last night, I was just tired and honestly did not feel like filming anything. So I came home, ate a snack, showered, watched Friends, went to bed. So I wanted to give you guys a few updates on the Formulate shampoo and conditioner that I showed like three vlogs ago maybe. But it's just a custom shampoo and conditioner that you basically choose your hair goals and like what you want to achieve with your hair and a chemist makes a custom formula for you. So I've been really liking the shampoo. Also I picked the coconut scent which it's not my favorite but it still smells good. So what's nice about Formulate is that you can change anything that you don't love or that you don't like about the product. For next month's shipment, I switched to the orange scent and then I switched a few of my hair needs because I haven't been liking the conditioner as much as I like other conditioners. So this conditioner that I have been using personally with like my custom formula, it has been leaving my hair feeling very like heavy and like I still have a lot of residue in it once my hair is dry. So I've been kind of playing around with mixing the shampoo conditioner like in combination with other shampoo conditioners just so I can see which product is actually causing the like heaviness I guess is the best way I can describe it like if I run my hands through my hair right now because I've been using a different conditioner it feels like really soft and like I don't have any product in my hair but with the conditioner that I had been using from Formulate it kind of felt really heavy I did go ahead and change my formula because it wasn't my favorite so i changed the formula and just adjusted my hair goals a little bit so hopefully next month my hair will like this conditioner a little bit better so those are the updates about that and otherwise i don't really think i have anything else to say in this video i just have a lot of school work to do and that's basically it um so I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and get it up today for you guys. If you guys have any video requests, leave them in a comment or you can go ahead and DM me over on Instagram or something. I do have quite a few written down that a lot of people have been requesting, like how I edit my Instagram photos, how I edit my videos, things like that. They are coming eventually, but I just wanted to get your guys' input on what videos you'd like to see. So I'm going to end this video here. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a new video very soon.